What is Move Think Smile? Is it a mantra, technique, negotiator, command, path, method, lifestyle, reward, rule, badge, or dare? For Ellie and I, it's become all of the above. In the past couple years, Move Think Smile has become our mantra. I've been lucky and dumb enough to battle roughly 1,800 obstacles and about 60 obstacle course races covering around 420 miles. My real fortune is that Elia has chosen to do most of these with me. People never ask why we do the whole obstacle thing, nor why we kiteboard, ride motorcycles, or drive around in a giant veggie oil powered truck. Yet most of them look at us in a way that tells me they think we're nuts. That look is usually followed by, how do you do it? That's badass. Those are the people who know there's something more to life, that something is missing. The interesting thing is, when we invite these people to join us on one of those nature hikes with carnival rides, most decline. Why? Because obstacles are scary. We see them as torturous things that should just as well be avoided. Our brains believe the only thing that's going to get crushed is me. Personally, what I'm really afraid of is embracing the suck. Obstacles are unknown. They feel gnarly and it's a lot easier to just keep doing what I've been doing than to take on something that looks like it's gonna hurt. To this day, I'm still learning an ancient law. Obstacles are the path. They are launching pads for success. Not just the grueling ones you'll find at a Spartan race. All obstacles, like the one keeping you in the job you hate, or the one that's slowly killing you because of the food you eat. Science shows your body needs stress to survive. We've been given the free will in choosing which stress we expose ourselves to, good or bad. If you stay in a relationship you secretly loathe, you're choosing bad stress. If you know the food you eat is crap, you are choosing bad stress. If you stay inside most of your life sitting on your ass, you're choosing bad stress. Choosing good over bad stress is an obstacle we face constantly, and it's a hard one. We've become so efficient at dealing with bad stress, the concept of introducing something good means interrupting our habit and the path of least resistance. Hence, our brains put up force fields. Move Think Smile is the negotiator that will lower those shields. The problem is, many forget the brain is a living organ. It can only produce the good stuff when it's healthy. Being made of organic tissue, your brain works best when you're physically vigorous. Your body is healthiest when you move it outside recharging the human battery, doing fun things in nature. Putting your health first is like printing money. Move Think Smile is the technique we use to max out brain power. We strongly feel obstacles, both physical and mental, are forms of good stress. And consciously making the choice to conquer them improves your life. Move Think Smile is a command we'll give each other when we notice a freak out coming on. Ellie is weirdly interesting, amazingly smart, strong, healthy, and beautiful. It's what attracts people to her. I'm lucky she keeps me around. Her influence helps me from intoxing beyond the point of no return. It's been more than two years since Elia started developing her Burn Out the Badass course. It was never a business plan. It's always been part of her own Move Think Smile path. Even though many think she's got strange habits, like leaving parties early to sleep, eating bizarre shit that makes her feel good, moving the moment she wakes up, a superhero sense of her environment, giving, gratitude, etc. They all still ask, how? How does she do it? This book is Elias' stress-conquering method to live good, feel good, and look good. It's how she crushes life's obstacles. Obstacles, nature, health. This is the simplest way to explain Move, Think, Smile. It quickly wakes the brain creates a new connection and shows us what we're capable of. For Ellie and I, conquering physical obstacles simply works. They might for you too, they might not. Regardless, Move Think Smile isn't about fitness or obstacle course racing. It's a lifestyle for living a course in obstacles. It's realizing you have a choice, embracing the suck and emerging with incredible life rewards. Reprioritize your life and put your health first. That's it. Move Think Smile is the only rule you need. If you can do this now, you're badass. It's never stupid to challenge yourself. When you do, you'll discover new possibilities. You can do more than you think, especially when you're faced with those things you believe are tough. Ellie and I don't choose what happens to us. 
but we do choose how we react. We're amazed at how much we've accomplished and proudly display Move, Think, Smile as our badge. Do you want the next 20 years of your life to suck because you can't stop choosing bad stress over good? We don't. That's why we created Move, Think, Smile. And that's why Elliot wrote this book. I dare you to learn it. I'm Adam Bonenz, recovering bacon addict and co-founder, Move, Think, Smile.